here in New York. The talks aimed at restoring the Iran nuclear deal that had been held in Vienna have been stalled since June when they were suspended for Iran's presidential election. Secretary of State Tony Blinken here for U.N. meetings warned Thursday night the U.S. would not wait indefinitely for an agreement, saying that Tehran's nuclear advances could become irreversible. Well, in the first interview that Iran's new government has done with anyone in the American news media, Iran's top diplomat, his foreign minister, their foreign minister, responded, sitting down with me here last night, taking a firm stance about returning to the nuclear deal, known as the JCPOA, saying that they would return sometime soon, unless, but they would not return, rather, unless the U.S. first lifts sanctions. Your president said this week that Iran would return to the talks within weeks. Is that a firm commitment? We do not have the opportunity nor the time to sit in meetings simply to drink coffee with one another. What is important for us are tangible results. The results that guarantee the rights and the benefits of the Iranian nation. Well, Secretary Blinken said today that time is not indefinite for the two sides to reach mutual compliance with the Iran nuclear deal, the original deal. Can you project how quickly you might return to the talks? And would you pick it up where they left off? So the reality of the matter is that for years we have not obtained any benefits from the JCPOA. However, we are reviewing seriously and we are assessing and I can tell you that we have had many meetings and we will keep the window of diplomacy and negotiations open and we will very soon return to the negotiations. Well, the U.S. side has wanted direct talks. Iran was insisting on indirect talks. Do you think it's time to have direct talks so that you can better assess what the administration wants for yourself? President Biden, President Biden was and is criticizing the behavior of his predecessor, Mr. Trump, vis-a-vis -vis Iran, but at the same time, the volume of the file of sanctions that Mr. Trump built against Iran is being carried carefully by Mr. Biden. So. If you are seriously pursuing negotiations, what are the meaning of piling up new sanctions? This is a negative sign, signal to Iran. Is time running out for Iran's willingness to go back to the JCPOA, the nuclear agreement? We believe that diplomacy always works. However, if other parties to any deal do not return to the fulfillment of their commitments, then we will not remain in the deal and keep fulfilling our side of the bargain. Now, at least four Americans are currently imprisoned in Iran, including a father and son detained back in February 2016. In talks in Vienna that were separate from the nuclear talks, Iran was believed to be close to a prisoner swap with the allies for Iranians held in the U.S. to exchange prisoners. But I asked the new foreign minister if they would consider picking up on that deal, which was believed to be close, although Iranian diplomats always caveat that their judiciary is technically in charge of prisoner releases. Here's his response. During the previous talks in Vienna, there were parallel talks about a possible prisoner swap for dual citizenship, could those talks be picked up where they left off? Is a prisoner swap a possibility? We see a prisoner swap and its potential as a purely humanitarian issue. We can reach an agreement on the prisoner swap and act on it. And this would include uh, both uh, Mr. Namazis and Mr. Tabaz, Mr. Shargi? who are currently in prison in Iran? As insani, From a humanitarian uh, viewpoint, we will do our best in order to follow through 
where is needed play a role in bringing about the freedom of those who are detained. Now on another subject, Iranian General Qasem Soleimani was killed in a U.S. drone strike in Iraq. That was ordered, of course, by former President Trump in January of 2020. Well, he'd been long on the State Department's list of terrorists, and the Pentagon said that he had been actively developing plans to attack Americans in Iraq and throughout the region when he was struck down. I asked Iran's foreign minister about Soleimani, with whom he was very close. Do you consider that matter closed? You uh, were reportedly very close to Soleimani. Do you still want to avenge his death, or do you consider the matter closed? From our viewpoint, uh, the file, so to speak, will not be closed. Those who were the perpetrators and carried out that act of terrorism against the national hero and the champion of Iran in the fight against terrorism must be brought to justice. Of course, you know that he is, was considered a terrorist by the United States. Uh, that, that assassination was carried out, or that uh, attack was carried out by the previous administration. In my opinion, the individual or individuals who gave the initial command for this act of terror, they are the true terrorists.